Hello everyone and welcome to what should be a first part of the tutorial on how to build objects for the OpenBBE simulator. Now today we're going to do some basic introduction, exa explain some basic principles that work with uh, within the simulator and also we'll take a look at the geometry and stuff like that so it's not gonna be a long episode it's probably gonna help you it's probably gonna help you uh, realize if you're good enough to do this or not I believe everyone is but you know there are some special cases probably so we'll see about that I mean uh, let's get going and we'll see how it rolls so first what I've done I've opened the blank object in uh, in the object we were here on the right right hand side uh, just to show you this thing we've got uh, as in any game or basically almost every game nowadays we've got a three dimensional three dimensional space that means the space is represented by three axes we've got the red axis here that's X going from left to right we've got the green axis that's the Y axis going from bottom to top and we've got the Z axis that's uh, representing the depth and is going from front to back or whatever you want however you want to call it so these three axes are important for us because they are they are showing us uh, they are showing us how the space is uh, how the space is divided now uh, where all these three axes intersect that point is a special point and uh, as it will be shown later it does have uh, it does have coordinates zero zero zero. That means you're writing zero for every of these three axes. I'll get to that in a bit. We'll show what it. I'll show you what it means, and uh, hopefully that will help you understand. So, uh, I think everybody had geometry in school or at school, so you can imagine what these are and uh, how it's going to look like, sort of. So uh, I'll now show you a practical example and. Uh, We'll see if uh, we'll see if uh, it turns out to work for us. So, the first command I'm going to use is actually this one. It's called create mesh builder, and this this command I've written it wrong, obviously, so I have to correct it. This command is not going uh, to do too much. It basically just tells the simulator or the render of the simulator that you are starting uh, you are starting a section of the object object that will be displayed later on. So this is basically like a header and it initializes the rendering system. It doesn't do anything visually, so there's no need to be there is no need to be concerned about the outcome of in this window, but uh, later on later on you'll see the final product that we're going to make. So that uh, we've got the render informed that we're going to create we're going to create uh, an object, so now we're gonna do that. Uh, the first command that we're using is the simplest one, and it's at vertex. It usually it uh, literally does what it says, so it adds vertex into your po into your three-dimensional space. Now, for today, we are going to disregard the depth of the object. We're going to create a 2D one only, just to make uh, just to make it like demonstrative what it does, and we're going to create a black square, so it will be situated somewhere here. The add vertex uh, is a command that needs parameters, of course, and those parameters will be the will be the coordinates on the axis, as I've said before. So we basically need to tell the add vertex where the vertex should be placed now. So we'll start with the lower lower left or bottom left uh, corner of the of the rectangle we are going to create. As I said, it will be starting in the special point that I was mentioning before. So the so the coordinates will be zero zero zero. That means the first coordinate is related to the red axis, so it's an X coordinate. The second coordinate is related to the green axis, that's going to be the Y coordinate. And the last uh, coordinate is the is related to the blue axis, so that's the Z coordinate. That will be always zero today because we are only creating a 2D object. Okay. Now, one thing that will help you in the beginning, uh, the simulator has a good uh, feature that you can put a semicolon basically anywhere in the in the file I prefer to do it after a command because otherwise it could mess up and if you put a semicolon you can put anything behind it so that will help you that will help you it's like a comment that you can enter into the file so let me let me take a look at this so this is the lower left corner this is the 
bottom left corner so it, it is uh, situated in uh, coordinate 0, 0, 0. So the add vertex in general is looking like this. I'll just uh, I'll just uh, get to, to explaining the commas in a bit, commas in a bit. So it's x coordinate. Then we have to go for y coordinate, and then we have to go for z coordinate. It doesn't work any other way, or it does, but it will show the it will show the vertex elsewhere than you want it. So use this use this uh, uh, order of uh, of coordinates. Now that we've got the add vertex here in the zero zero zero. It doesn't do anything yet. We need to we need to def define at least f two others, two other uh, add vertices to to, cr to create a triangle. But today we are going to do a square, so we'll create three uh, uh, another three. An important thing is to realize that every of these vertices, each of these vertices does have an index. So this vertex, it's the first one, and it has uh, uh, index zero. The indexes start from zero in the simulator. It's set like that, and uh, you kind of have to remember it. So this one has uh, index zero. Now, if we want to make the square, let's say one meter high, all these uh, coordinates are in meters. Like you know, it, if you put zero one, it will be one like one meter higher in the simulator itself. So let's put another another vertex that's going to be zero on the on the on the x axis because we are not moving sideways we are only moving upwards so if we're going upwards that means the green or the y coordinate has to change and we'll make it one because we want the square to be one meter high and the z coordinate all, all of course stays because uh, we are not touching that today this second vertex uh, as confusing as it can be has index one so remember that now to get a square, obviously, we need to go left or right. I will prefer to go right just to avoid negative values for now. So I will go one meter right. That means the vertex will be somewhere here. As you can see, we are still one meter high, and we are going uh, one meter right. So what that means? Uh, so what that means for our command is we have to put at vertex. This time x will be one because we are somewhere here and it's one meter. Y stays at one because we are still here like we are not at we are not down here at the x-axis we're one meter higher and the z stays because we are not touching the z today so this this vertex has an index two and last one uh, the last uh, vertex we are going to create will be the fourth obviously and it's gonna be here so what that means for us is we're returning down to axis x that means the y coordinate will will be different and we are staying one meter aside from the from the from this point. So the last vertex will be the last vertex will then be one for x because we are here. We're not here, we are here rightwards to that. Y will be zero because we are situated on the x-axis, and z will be zero as well because the depth is not included today. So that means we have created the third or four vertex but it has index number three right so now we have four ver so now we have four vertices we have to realize that it doesn't do anything yet I will now save the file and I'll try to load it uh, for you to see what it does as you can see it doesn't do anything and that is because we need to tell the simulator to connect those vertices that we have created and create an actual ge geometrical geometrical object here so how so that is done by a command add face it basically does add a face uh, to the to the. <coughs> it basically do, does uh, connect these vertices together, and uh, later on, once you have it connected, you can like fill the fill the area with with uh, a color. So we put add face, and this add face uh, works with these indexes. That's why I ha that's why I have uh, put them here. So if you want to create if you want to create a rectangle, you just uh, you just simply connect those four those four vertices. So you put zero, one, two, three. That means we are going from vertex zero to vertex one, then to vertex two, and then to vertex three. These two, three to zero, will be connected automatically. So that doesn't need to be you that you don't need to write it. it. It will be connected automatically. The important thing is to realize once I put a add face and I save it, 
I can already see the rectangle. So as you can see, we've got a square, a uh, side of which is one meter, but uh, it's it's like blank. It's uh, not blank. It's white. Uh, the implicit color for your objects will be white unless you put another command that changes the color or later on when you load the textures you will put the texture and stuff like that. We'll get to textures later on. Uh, for now I will just ch I will just change the color of uh, the rectangle to show you how it works. So let's just put a note. The app face does the app face uh, The add face connects uh, the vertices created earlier, and uh, it uses the indexes of the of the vertices that you have put. Now we have only four vertices vertices here, so that means we are connecting these four indexes. If there were more of them, you can also use add face zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. How? Uh, no matter how many you have, the thing is that when you create it, when you create it. Uh, when you create too many vertices the, the object will be too complex difficult to render and there are also some other catches that I will speak about later so for now let's just let's just stick uh, to this rectangle that we have uh, to put a color or to give uh, to give our object or the rectangle the color we use a simple command set color um, I think I remember it uh, I remember it from Borland Pascal, so you can see it's a very old command, like commonly used within uh, programming languages. And that set color uh, in OpenBVE works with the RGB model. So you basically put intensity of green, sorry, red, green, and blue color. For black color, these in these intensities are obviously zero, zero, zero because uh, there doesn't need to be any there doesn't need to be any red, green, or blue color uh, blue substance uh, included in the black color so we'll put zero 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 and the set color has the following format it is basically the command red green blue now what I have found useful when you're not sure about the color you can always open like a uh, paintbrush in windows and take a look at the palette because it will show you it will show you how much green how much red how much blue you have to put to get uh, to get uh, the desired uh, to get the desired color for the black one it's easy for the white it's obviously it's obviously uh, 255 255 255 maybe let me just write that every color every color can be 0 to 255 because that's how many that's how many uh, that that's the values you can use in uh, in the set color. Anything else will be considered unreasonable, or basically, basically it will be. I think it will put it white. And I I haven't tried it to be honest because I know this RGB model, so I will take. It. So I will uh, use the black one, and uh, let me just save the object, load it here, and as you can see, it's black now. It's semi-transparent, but that's something that Object Viewer does in uh, real life or in the sim itself. It won't be transparent. It will be solid. So today we have created a black rectangle with these commands right here. You can take a look at it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. And I'll see you next time to produce something more.